Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Today's video, we're going to be going over the second part of accessing uh, WebLogic information uh, from an ADF application. I have uh, created a previous video that um, I hope you'll look at, which will explain what we're doing here. Uh, it was just getting a little too long to uh, put into a complete video. So um, in that video, um, I uh, talked about some of the uh, programs that I have to access LDAP video and in this video we're going to be just connecting these two buttons so we can look at the information that's in the LDAP for a particular user and uh, access it. So let's go over to our view. I have some buttons here and I'm going to add them to a uh, existing bean that I've created and if we take a look here this particular button will instantiate a LDAP utils which is basically this class here and I'm going to call it user and once I have that I can get some particular uh, pieces of information I'm first testing to see if the person is in a investigator role or a manager role. Now if you come over here, I don't think I even have an investigator role, but I do have a manager role. I have a staff role and I have, I'm already given myself the manager role. So let's change this to staff just to be consistent with what we have. Okay, that's the first button. The second button is going to just do a display name now, what, when you double click these things, what you can do is actually create a new method uh, or you can uh, select an existing one. And I'm going to select an existing one. If I had taken that, that here, I'll just show you what it does is it basically creates a blank one. Now, I don't want that because I'm actually going to have it connect to this one. But uh, this is at least something helpful to learn because now you have a little error here. And you basically need to change that back. You can just erase it, obviously, but I'm going to show you how to do it through the GUI. Come over here and you take it like that. So it's pretty simple. All right, so now that one's going to do display name. And if we double click on it, you can just see that we're getting the display name from here. And the reason that I have it twice is, is that um, it seems like it'll accept it in uh, mixed case, which is unusual for Java and WebLogic. Let's go back to our page. And the LDAP utils is going to be this particular method. And the LDAP utils is just getting the LDAP user attributes. Let's take a look at that. We can look at it by going to Go Declaration. And so we're getting a map of the properties, the user properties. And we're just going to be iterating through that writing each property as we see it. It's nothing really serious. Uh, but you could do things like, if this user has this, do that. Now this one is the change user property, uh, which I believe is four. So if we come over to four, we can right click it and go, go declaration. And we can look at that one. Now this one, um, I did mention that I have some errors in here, but it does work. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the user display name to Dingbat. So let's run this. Now that we've got our page hooked up, I think I need to undeploy from my previous deployment and run it. In my previous videos, I showed how to do um, EL access some of the security information available from EL. I also showed how to access a, um, prof a, a variable that's set up in the bean. Um, I'll show you that variable right up here. It's the welcome username. And I have a getter and setter um, that populates that. So that's something you might want to look back at in the other videos. I'm just waiting here for it to deploy. And we'll get a login screen. Let's set this up higher. 
Okay, so uh, when that welcome page, whoops, sorry, wrong page here. When this uh, is uh, instantiated, it runs the starting up there. So we're going to check now is enroll. Ooh, that does not look good. What happened here? User data being resolved to null. Well, let's see why. We got the page flow. Okay, I think I found the problem. Um, and it had to do with the fact that we changed it to page flow. Um, I guess I had set this prior to, and once we changed the page flow scope, it did not work. Um, so what I had to do was cancel this out and come over here and do user data bean and choose the method again and just reset them. Now you can see that it, it wrote the page flow scope in there. Previously, that was not written in there. And uh, so this one seems to be OK. I fixed that already. Now, this was originally the way it was for all of them. So I mean, this is uh, you know something where you live and learn, basically. Uh, so having a scope change can have some drastic effects on your application. And now it seems fine. So let's run that again. We, uh, I started and stopped WebLogic just to be sure, but um, then I found out that, that issue. So there are uh, some fun things that go on when we make some changes, like we did changing the page, uh, the request scope. We changed it from request code scope to page flow scope. And that changed every single one of these buttons and what it was connected to. So you have to be very careful when you make changes in, in JDeveloper. Okay, here we are. We're going to test that that worked. Okay, so first of all is enroll. Actually, I, I should have mentioned that the starting up uh, code ran and well, it's pressed the wrong page, sorry. The starting up code ran and it when it populated this, the enroll worked and you can see that I'm not a false uh, for staff but I am a manager um, let's see here come on okay display name Stuart Fleming although we've already tested that to a certain extent with that one LDAP utils is going through every single one of those and you'll note that uh, in the utilities uh, let's see my attributes here I guess we have to log in again Here are my, util my uh, attributes. You can see I just wrote letters there. Uh, I didn't really care about what, but I just wanted to populate it with something. Uh, and you can see that some of them are coming out null. Uh, this is the GUI ID. That is probably internally produced by L the LDAP. The tenant name is not in uh, WebLogic. So some of the, um, some of the, uh, uh, let's see, methods that are available within the user profile are not available or not listed in WebLogic. So it's just something to note. Okay, let's go to our next one. And here we're going to change the user. Now, uh, it did blow up a little bit here. If you see that uh, there is a Java null, null pointer exception, uh, but uh, it did work and uh, like that one actually if we press f5 here you can see that it's now updated there and if we press f5 here let's see what happens might need to log in again let's see if i can't get the original Yeah, there we are, dingbat. So um, that worked. So um, that should wrap it up for this particular video. I hope that was helpful for you. Main things to consider are that you have your uh, managed beans registered with the proper scope. 
so that you don't get null values like we did when we first set this. And then if you do change the page flow scopes that you go in and you make sure that your buttons are working properly or whatever is accessing whatever code is working properly so that you won't have any errors. Um, do go over creating some of these LDAP properties and note that you can uh, use it in any number of ways. Uh, a lot of flexibility with Java. Uh, create your own ADF utilities and develop ways to work with them. The next video that we probably should be making is how to access uh, maybe a user ID from this value here and then uh, <clears throat> run some code that will access a database or query the database or set the view controller based on the role that a user has or access that a user has. So uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.